Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no, sí. Hi. No, sí. Hi. Ta, ta, ta. Un, dos, tres, y... Hi. How are you? My name is Jason Ida and... Sophie Shaw and Ida. Yeah. Dad and daughter. And today we're going to be assembling our very first, believe it or not, computer. <laughs> and that is my first computer that I'm going to assemble in my whole life. I had already all the computers, but I disassembled them, but I was never able to put them back <laughs> to work. So today is going to be a really a good challenge. Early on, I did the unboxing, but we're going to do another unboxing now that it is unboxed of the big boxes. We're going to do unboxing of the small boxes. Yeah. And Sophie, she is a very good unboxer. <laughs> so in here, we've got another camera. Hey, where we're going to be assembling on top of the motherboard box. So we will need a lot of tools. We'll need a screwdriver where the handle is broken. <laughs> <laughs> but that's important, it's magnetic. So actually magnetic. So we don't really lose the screws. And we're going to need a knife, a Stanley knife, which uh, it's fairly used, but it's pretty good. So, so first things first, uh, today we're going to be assembling our ta -da! Ryzen 7 third gen process processor. Third gen processor 3700X 8 core 16 thread processor. Yes, that's going to be a monster. So that's our processor. But before we start, the videos that I watched on YouTube, Sophie, mm -hmm. it says that because it's a lot of electronic components, we need to discharge our static uh, electricity or something like that. So to do that, uh, those guys on the internet, on YouTube, they ask us to connect the power supply. Can you show the power supply there? There and there. So that's our power supply, a thermal take, 550 watt. Uh, that's not modular, but that's all right. So we're going to connect the power supply to the power point, and then we'll be touching the power supply that's going to be on top of that uh, trolley so we can discharge uh, our static electricity or electricity static. So, so that is our power supply, smart BX1 550 watts from thermal take. So Sophie, can you just uh, get the power cord please? <clears throat> and then we will I'll probably put this one in the box so we don't lose the screws and then we will connect uh, 2000 years later uh, maybe it's because of the nails look at the nails how is she going to help me to put together a computer with those nails so we're going to connect where from plug in there and <coughs> put in there, turn it on. That's it. And do I need to turn here on? Yeah, so so if you touch in there, Sophie, then we can discharge the static. So that's right. We'll give, we'll leave it there on. 
and from time to time we just need to go there and discharge our static so uh, maybe we can put away this box please and then we're going to unbox our motherboard Ta -da, ta -da, which is an M MSI X470 AMD motherboard Gaming ga Gaming <laughs> Gaming Plus Max Gaming Plus Max and this is Max because it's already AMD Ryzen 3000 desktop ready so it means that uh, this motherboard is already compatible with the third generation of the Ryzen 7 so we will open this box that's the anti-static plastic bag so we get all the goodies that are in there so at the bottom we can remove those ones yeah so probably just leave there on the table uh, stickers that's important one thing that's probably important for us is to keep the instruction manual handy because we will need to be referring to that instruction manual because at least myself I've never assembled a computer before what about you Sophie? no, no? again <coughs> so we are all <coughs> now we're going to keep the box here because we're going to assemble on top of the on top of the box so just charge electricity and we're going to put put uh, we're going to put the static bag and then they said it's good to have the box underneath the static bag and the motherboard because then the box is not sturdy is a bit flexible so when you press down it doesn't really damage the underneath of this motherboard and as you, we can see the motherboard has got some plates to protect some of the CPU um, what do you call contacts and it's quite interesting there's a lot of connections here and the next step is going to have a look at the manual and see what do we need to do but I watch hundreds of videos the next thing that we gotta do is to assemble the CPU so the CPU is going to be Ta -da! Ryzen 7 3700X so we gotta be really really careful and very lucky that I'm not clumsy <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> do you have a different opinion? yeah very mm -hmm. different All right. opposite actually. opposite? yeah <laughs> so this is our processor and it's got a very nice sticker we can put outside of our computer case so I live in there so and here is our very nice CPU RGB cooler it's got a lot of LEDs in there so I saw on the videos that we need to install the CPU which is this square thing and they say yeah that you gotta lift this lever we lift that and then we gotta find a triangle triangle? yes where? I don't know <laughs> we gotta find a triangle so where is the triangle? we probably need a little bit of light in here <coughs> So that's really important that we find a triangle 
because if we put in the wrong way it will damage the it's going to damage the CPU so perhaps there's no triangle there so we go to the we go to the manual and then we find where to put the how to put the the CPU uh, it's not quite there ah, it says here that the little triangle if the lever is here so it's like there so the triangle is in there see the triangle there so the triangle is there no it's not quite there because the lever is actually here like that so then it's there oh yeah there's like a, a little dot mm -hmm. ah okay oof <laughs> all right so lucky that uh, we saw that Perhaps we put on top of the, the CPU box. Yeah, so that's a CPU. Let's see if in there. So if that is the CPU. Wow, very, I'm very scared of doing it wrongly. So if that is the CPU, look, that's the CPU there, and look at the back of the CPU, amount of pins. So imagine if we damage those pins so and there is actually a very tiny very tiny dot in, in that corner very tiny dot so that dot needs to be aligned with that dot so if that is the thing it means that uh, we got to put like this Punch. I'm a bit afraid of this so yeah just like that and it's already in done the CPU the CPU is installed wow great now CPU is installed so what you're going to do we're going to install the CPU cooler and the CPU cooler has already the thermal paste which is already not very good because already there but the cpu paste is already there so we're going to put in here so we just need to know where the cpu fan is so the cpu fan cpu fan if the cpu fan is there so it can probably go there uh, well there's not a lot of options because uh, if we go like this you can go like this or you can go like that so I think it's going like that so it means that uh, we need to put in one side and then 
put on the other side that's the opposite I'm gonna put on the other side first this side and then I put on this side And with the lever, and now is in place. There's a little lever there that I need to just with a little bit of pressure. Yes. And that's it. The CPU fan cooler is installed. And now I just need to connect to this particular connection, which says CPU fan. So I'm going to do a little bit of a knot so it gets a little bit. Uh, how can I say shorter and then I'll connect I'm gonna connect in there and I don't believe yeah, that's the way to connect I don't really have a lot of experience in this one And tick. Yeah, it's connected. Great. Good. Good. What happened there? Uh, it's. I don't know if it's recording. It probably is. No. Yeah. So probably just. Uh, all right. So we have our CPU installed, and I've we've got our CPU cooler installed and now we probably going to I like to install the SSD SSD so but there are a couple of SSDs that we need to do it. So M21, M22. So what's the difference between M21 and M22? It's a good question. M2 SDs. Ah, all right, we can remove so we're going to install now our ssd m2 it's uh, western digital 500 gigabytes so this is how it's going to work we're gonna make sure oh, that's a little tiny thing so there's a standoff I'll show here there's a the SSD card is going to be here but we can see that's a bit too short and the standoff is right there so we need to move this standoff from here to there so that's the first thing that we're going to do and with my super screwdriver which is not because it's just finger screw <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't going to work so we're going to put the, the standoff put up another showcase huh? in here and 
it's in there so we're going to make sure that this slot or that kind of a little gap in the middle <coughs> there is an actual little gap in there so we will in a little bit of an angle we will insert in there and yeah click and then actually there is m2 screw that came together with the with the motherboard and they actually the same so m2 screw so because there are two there are two ports for the m2s so i will just put one i think that uh, i'll ask sophie to get in my first draw that little box with the little tiny screw drivers please because that's really tiny very tiny screw it's really really tiny so This screwdriver is not actually magnetic, so it will be a bit of a challenge. Because it's not just mag it's not magnetic, but I'll have to make it work. What if I get this? Use the magnetic bit of this bigger one so I can actually put in there. Oh, really tiny. And Sophie can't really help me. Sophie, can you get the, <coughs> you know, the, the case of the screwdriver in the garage? My door. There's like a little box, please. It's really a challenge because it's too tiny. Really, really tiny. Oh, I managed to get it now. Oh, got it. Whew. Got it. Uh, it's a bit of a struggle, but. Uh, it worked uh, not quite yeah i think it works i don't know if that is magnetic that's another set of screws screwdrivers i'm not quite sure if they are magnetic so i'll leave this here because it can be it can be useful all right <coughs> so we've got already our ssd installed in there yeah next to the processor and now in here on those four slots we're going to install our memory ram and look sophie look how it is they're really really pretty 
they actually LED uh, there's two so just don't touch on the golden thing but here it lights up so I've got eight gigabytes each memory so the total will be 16 gigabytes and also there is this little cut which is not uh, equal so best thing to do is to well we've got to open first we're going to open the ports and then we're going to line up according to the yeah that's it because if I do this it doesn't align with the thing so I will put in numbers one and three so it one goes there yeah one is in and the other one goes number three because then is do channel so it goes one three or two four I'm mounting on one three because then it's a little bit away from the CPU so gives better cooling so it does a little bit of a tick and talk so the other ones and yeah shut those down so the memory RAM is installed which is good I just don't know where I can connect the RGB for the fan because <coughs> I believe that there is RGB for the fan so sys fan 1 and that's the CPU CPU fan so yes I'll have to refer to the manual so I know where to connect but I cannot forget to connect the RGB for the uh, CPU all right so after we connect the memory RAM so we put away this one this is actually the the little I think that's probably the little cable for the for the fan or the CPU cooler fan for the RGB so it looks like I've got to connect to the USB So that's connected. All right, so we've got uh, the CPU connected. We've got uh, the cooler connected. We've got the SSD connected. We've got the memory RAM connected. The CPU, fan, power supply is connected and the RGB for the CPU is also connected that's great 
so what we have to do now I think is to get our case and then we're going to install the motherboard in the case Sophie almost fell <laughs> and then we're going to put our install our uh, graphic or video card and then yeah that's uh, where's the little rubber thing that uh, we had one. yeah one is there the other one yeah. yeah what about the other one Did you get rid of it? No. No? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll find it later. So, we cannot... Do you want to open this one? Please. Alright, so what you have to do now We'll get our case. So we get our case. It's from the rubbish. So we get our case. Can you slide from to here? all right so we get our case and that is a very very nice case we have so that's the that's the side panel it's tempered glass so we can see all the lights flashing in there the front is also got some glass the side is just metal the bar the rear has got very nice grill and the bottom has also some grill for the ventilation of the power supply unit so what we're going to do we're going to remove the side panels so remove the metal one I'm going to remove the metal one. There's just some finger screws in here. Yeah. So once it's unscrewed, it goes like that. And then we can remove. You can probably put this away somewhere. Hey, Sophie. And then we're going to unscrew these ones yeah. so that's our tempered glass side panel just got to be careful with that you Sophie can put it away just be careful maybe you want to put inside the box maybe and then on the top box and then maybe put that box on the floor so Jose doesn't play with the box and just don't drop the box so yeah so that's a very good opening and the reason why I I purchased this case is because I think you can see here there are actually two compartments that's the bottom one this bottom one is the one that we're going to put the 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 hard drives and the power supply and the top one is where the motherboard and the graphic cards and everything else is going to be yeah here you can see two compartments the top one 
and the bottom one and so the bottom one from this side is here where we're going to have our power supply hard drives and the SSD drives and the reason for that is that uh, the heat generated by the power supply because of this separation the heat goes down it doesn't really increase the heat on the motherboard so what you're going to do we're going to install first uh, we're going to install the motherboard uh, that's all cabling these are the cablings zip ties and screws probably for the ah yeah because you've got one through one two three four fans in the uh, RGB fans which means that they're the red green and blue mm -hmm. yeah so the LEDs so those wiring they are there to connect to our motherboard and it will be uh, controlled by it I think so I think what you're going to do you're going to install the power supply so we will disconnect the power supply from the wall here and we're going to install the power supply our power supply is our thermal tank smart bx1 550 watts 80 plus bronze so which is going to provide pretty good power supply to us so what you're going to do we're going to probably put to the side in there and there's a lot of cables anything Sophie yes. and then we will somehow well the the fan is actually on the bottom so because we got the grill here we're going to put yeah I joke with that because Sophie when she was at school when she was learning the words uh, the teacher said that uh, there are some what they call boring boring words and some of the boring words were put so and as you can see there's a lot of there's a lot of cables here I'm not quite sure and then together with these ones from the casing and other ones I don't know where to connect those so hopefully it will work because the last thing that I want is that I doesn't really turn on and then my mom no not my mom but uh, Flavian is going to kill me because it may not work but it will work we'll think positively and it will work so what I need is the little bag with the screws is it in here? Yeah, the screws are in there. Now that's the the motherboard. Probably there is there is a pack of screws for the little power supply place. So yeah, certainly there's a lot of uh, cables. I'm getting a little bit worried now. Yes, thank you. So we have now the how many uh, there are four screws it's a little bang there are four tiny screws that we will put in here so this is magnetic all right so uh, there's actually some places that you can screw there 
So that helps. So one is here. I'm not going to tight too much. And then the other one somewhere. Somewhere there. And then the other one somewhere there. And then the other one, last one, lucky last, and here. Now I can tighten the other ones. The power supply unit PSU is installed. Very, very good. Okay. Now, cable management. Uh, well, to get the things organized, I think I'm going to ask my assistant Sophie. To help me with organization because she's very organized. Sometimes. Are you? Sometimes. All right. So the power supply is installed. That's good. So what I'm, what we're going to do now? We're going to install the motherboard. So. Oh no. Oh no. There's so many cables. Put it here, just shoving somewhere. Yeah, let's just shove in there. So, we're going to install our motherboard. So the motherboard goes there. <coughs> yeah, in here somewhere. So actually it goes it needs to go there. So this can go here. How do I, if I disconnect this one, how do I know that that's, can you remember Sophie, that this one, this cable is to connect this one, we need to, but there's other ones that work like that, yeah, so <laughs> how can we do it, if I disconnect this one, No, that's for the, so maybe it is for that. Maybe these ones. No, that is to, this is to, do cable management is do we have just these ones yeah just those no. just those just those all right so what you're going to do it says here uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we can probably label this one can you get a a pen please 
we can put this one a rear fan so we label the cable so we know what they are All right. so rear rear fan All right, so hopefully we're not going to waste these ones. So if this is the rear thing, so we can disconnect, and we know that uh, we need to reconnect them again. Good because it will have to be connected somewhere. All right, so they say that's very important. I'll check. Yeah. They say that that's very important. I think I will turn these to here. Yeah, I think I think it's probably better. Yeah. So they say that's very important that there are some standoffs. So I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. There are nine standoffs. So we need to make sure that we put the, the motherboard in the right place, in the right place in the right time. So, uh, first we need to put this one. So, if this is going to be like this, it means that it's going to be like that. So, this thing is going to be here. This is going to be somehow with a little bit of pressure. Very sharp. Yeah, it's very, I think it's laser cut. So it's quite sharp, very dangerous. All right, so we're going to install our motherboard and Somehow it will have to line up. It will have to line up in here, and then line up with the holes. Yeah. It's lining up with the holes. Good. So we need the uh, screws, which are probably these ones. Oh no, that's for the casing. There's more. Uh, NSI. No. Are there more here? There was one in that little bag. No, uh, yeah, not that one there. So I think it's probably those ones there with the cable ties. Yeah, there's a whole heap of whole heap of standoffs and oh. Uh, Which ones now? You go to the old manual. 
and it probably tells which screw we need to use it hopefully not quite doesn't quite say which screws did we have any of this manual together with the case mm -hmm. huh? you sure? ah it says here uh, the screws that no and the, the type of screws is the one with some sort of hexagonal head can you get one, two, three, four, five, this six, one? seven, eight, nine? Now that's a standoff. There's a screw so with the hexagonal head. Uh, that one there, those ones, yeah. Okay. Nine, how many? Uh, nine. So. Well, luckily that this is magnetic, so uh, we'll put in here. I'll probably have to move the light from here. I'm going to put the light in there, so helps me and I think it's the other one the little ones are these little ones these little ones I think yeah there's the little ones Yeah, those little ones with the head. Is that the same? We'll try. Those tiny ones. The head is a bit different, but there's actually the how many of those big ones? There's no nine, yeah, yeah. so it can't be those ones because it's just four. So got three down, another six to go. Where are the others here? Let's 
So I uh, think I want there's three to go. Are they all the same? They all look the same. They look the same, but yeah. these so there's four um, those, four of these, and there's one that's like flat heads and then there's ah, flat head. Ah. And then there's the ones that you're using. And I can't use the like that. Alright, so we'll count. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go right. Go right. Go right. All right. So you've got so. nine in there. So now, uh, what's missing? Uh, missing the graphic card. Oh yeah. And then we, we'll, after the graphic card, we we'll have to somehow connect all these cables and then turn on and see if it works so we will now connect the graphic card so we connect the graphic card So our graphic card is Gigabyte Radeon RX 580. So Sophie is going to help us. And opening, opening the graphic card. You want to put it in here? So that's our graphic card. So hold this one. What do we have? Do we have things underneath? Just a manual graphic graphics card. All right. Okay. Good. So, for you. Wow, that's a very nice look. It's like radiators. No, Look how nice. Look at the the copper pipes. Yeah, really, really nice. All right, so there's uh, like a protection for the PCI Express connection there. So we will actually, this one, we will install in the PCI Express slot. So there's actually a lock in there as well. It's actually reinforced with metal so gives a little bit more sturdiness to the uh, connection and then we just need to figure out which slots are we going to put we're going to put in this one so it means that we need to remove the first and second first and second can you see here? First and second slots there. Because there's no other way to put it. So it's gonna be like this. So we're gonna if it goes like that, so we need to remove these two here. So uh, how do we remove this thing? Uh, so actually I screw in here that we can remove 
like a cover like a little cover that we can remove and then we need to get rid of this two here so how do we do that I don't know uh, is it well, we probably need to get rid of this one first so get rid of this so we remove one so that's done but now we need to get rid of these other ones so it's probably just I'm not quite sure how we actually get rid of it break the thing uh, I should have I should have removed that before I put the motherboard no because I need to kind of do like this and this is on the way of the motherboard so I have to remove the motherboard again have to remove the screws remove the motherboard so I can then remove the rear panels and then because the motherboard is actually in the way of the, the panels if I try to remove the panels like this it may damage the motherboard and I don't want to do that so I had to remove these ones remove these ones well if I had assembled a computer before I would probably have known about this but first time so next computer that I put together I will know and also I have my lovely assistant Sophie That's the last screw. All right. So I will have to. Can I get the, one of the box so I can put the motherboard on top, please? Yeah. My system's a bit clumsy as well. Mm. All right, so this is what I'm talking about because I need to get rid of these two here. So because I have to, because I have to break this one, the motherboard was on the way. So yeah, I got rid of one and I need to get rid of the other one here so now I've got enough room I've got enough room for the card but I'm just thinking that uh, 
if I'm going to if I'm going to have a Wi-Fi card if I'm going to do a Wi-Fi card I might need to get rid of the other one just in case because That's, that goes there. And then if I put that one there, it means that I need to get rid of the, the other one. So I don't need to remove the motherboard again. So I can probably get rid of the other one there as well. But thinking better. I'll probably get rid of the other one because then one, two, three because then you get a little bit more room so it doesn't really it doesn't really uh, this next one yeah it doesn't really then gives a little bit of room for the ventilation so I'll get rid of this one as well for a future Wi-Fi card that I'm going to buy so I'll put this one back now now I can do this great so I just need to again put the, the screws back I'm probably going to fast forward this one in the video because I'm just kind of adjust the screwing uh, just tighten the screws and not doing anything more important it looks really good I think this computer is going to be really really powerful and fast if it works hopefully it will work because if it doesn't I am in big trouble big big trouble big big trouble I gotta keep talking because it's if it if I don't talk it becomes a bit boring so yeah I will, I will do so nobody will understand what I'm saying because like this no 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 I'm going to do the first edition or the the video editing the first one is going to be done using this computer and that's going to be a ripper no, I'm almost finishing yeah, all right so put the graphic card so actually here there's a protection for the connection so I'm going to get rid of the connection so there's a PCIe connection there so I will now I already unlock the slot and now with a lot of care voila it's in there 
it's good so I need to have those flat head screws Sophie mm -hmm. I need probably two of those please Flat hand, the other one. Yeah. So hopefully those ones. very easy to, to have those in oh. where has it gone Just magnetic as well. Some of these screws are not. Head, but this looks they look like the some are uh, a bit too big. They look too big, but uh, this one. Which one is this one? Where was this? This one. What's this one like? Oh. I think this one was. Where was this one? Reason why this? Who was this? Wasn't it no? Wasn't it on the other side? Wasn't it no? 
close it. I think it was like this. These are the ones. Yeah, it also screws a bit. Yeah, so I think now it's the in. All right, so what else do we have? Uh, I think it's probably it. We was going to, yeah, now we probably need to connect the power supply now. So we'll do that. So probably just going to put this cover in. to do is to organize all the connections so to organize the wiring and cable I'm actually going to stop with the video because there will be a lot of a fiddling or maybe we can let it run but then I'm going to fast forward so you guys will see what I'm going to do but uh, it's going to be like a, uh, what they call time lapse. All right. So keep it recording. And uh, I will start connecting those cables.
And this is the final product. My Ryzen 7 3700X, 8 cores, 16 threads, with 16 gigabyte memory RAM, DDR4, 3200 megahertz, with 500 gigabyte SSD M.2, 1 terabyte SSD, 2.5 inches, and 4 terabytes uh, hard disk. Yeah, very happy. I'm editing this video. I just edited this video with this machine and it's really, really fast. Last night it converted a 31 minute video in just 30 minutes, which is remarkable. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you then.